Uh, my name is Joey Lafiatis. I'm the president of Greenline Records, which is Northeastern student run record label. Uh, and I've got five slides, which I'm hoping to get through in five minutes, that are ideally going to give you five angles uh, to look at Greenline. Um, somewhat of a highlight reel, so I'll try and go fast. Uh, the first angle that we can look at Greenline Records through is what are our objectives, what are we trying to accomplish, and so I think my vision with Greenline has really to be to integrate traditional models of the past as well as incorporating uh, future innovation that is going to redefine the music industry. Um, so for example, we go to class and our professors are teaching us how it's been and what's worked and what hasn't worked and we take that and then we apply it at Greenline and we've got a really nice staff of students who are looking to try new things and so we do our best to get uh, both in there. Um, the second way, oh wow, all right, I understand how this works now. So that's what that slide was. Um, so the second way we can look at Greenline Records uh, are our six departments, and I think that's how we're most easily defined, and I'm not going to go through all of them because they're fairly self-explanatory, but maybe also just to give some highlights of uh, what we've accomplished recently. Our artist and repertoire department this past semester uh, did some talent scouting for some new bands, and they found 50 bands in the area who are up to our caliber, but also willing to work with us. Uh, and as of today, we have our head talent scout coming back to our meeting with 15 bands that we are then going to review and throw out to our general um, volunteer group to see if anyone's interested in working with them. Our recording department has taken on an unprecedented, unprecedented number of live recording opportunities, including a couple in here. I know last week we um, recorded the music tech compositions, music technology compositions by students. Uh, and again, just to give you an example, it was a really great opportunity for people to get some experience. We had an engineer who decided to point a microphone backward at that big stained glass area and got a really cool, eerie sound that they're then going to use in the recording. Uh, and I guess the last highlight from this is that our event programming department is working directly with Northeastern to schedule acts at Empower Fest on November 15th and 16th, which is a two-day event. There are about 20 acts, and we're scheduling it around President Al Woon's speech himself. So again, we've been up to some stuff. Um, I guess the next way to look at it is who do we work with? Primarily, it's CAMD students, including myself, a music industry major. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as a hands-on application of what we are learning in the music department. Uh, and so even with where we are now, we're also looking to uh, include like the music tech students who are doing compositions and kind of create this microcosm of the music industry at Northeastern. Um, we work with our artists. I think it's easy for me to say that we measure our success by the success of our artists despite everything else we have going on. Uh, and then really at the end of the day we work with anyone who's going to reach out to us and that's kind of a call to action to anyone who feels inspired by this. Um, I can say that only four out of the eight people on our e-board are music industry majors, so we're really open. Uh, we really like the idea that anyone who comes to us with an idea can kind of fulfill it, I guess. Uh, our recent accomplishments, we've been working with the Snell Library to upgrade their studio, and so that's something I personally worked on, uh, specking and budgeting equipment for it. Uh, it's under construction right now. It'll be complete in January 2014. Um, like I said, our live recording capabilities, we've done a lot more than we did in the past. So also, for example, come December, there are going to be a lot of ensemble performances, and we're handling all of those. So again, if anyone has something they want live recorded, we're doing that. Um, we, this is the first term we're going to have studio and physical releases. So whereas in the past, Greenline has been focused on everything that a record label, or things that a record label doesn't traditionally do, this is the first term that we've actually had engineers from Greenline go into a studio with an artist at, and record a piece. And we're now working with them to create a physical copy, whether that's for sentiment or to see if we can be profitable with it. Uh, and then this is, all, uh, last term was our first term that we kind of monitored to see how many people were getting involved. And I've got eight people on an e-board with me, and we've got a mailing list of 250, but we realistically measured it, and there were 100 people who contributed something to the progress of the organization last term, which is a big step for us. Uh, and my last real slide is just what the future of North Green Line is going to be. Uh, we're hoping to work with the music department to better integrate uh, our experiential learning with what's going on in classes. So actually, I've already started talking to Jim, who's the uh, head of the recording minor, about using students in his class to 
do projects through Greenline. If there is some overlap, there's no point in doing. Is that for me? All right, I'll try and wrap it up. Uh, otherwise, so we're looking to go into the classes. We're looking to go out to the real world. We've already started working with some companies like Prescott and Idea, who also work with each other. Uh, we're hoping to start the first student-run licensing program in the United States, which would be a really big goal. Um, and I guess in general, we're just hoping to be the epicenter of a dynamic cultural scene at Northeastern that would primarily be based in music, but not limited to that. Uh, and so just, I'm gonna throw this out there again, how to get involved. There's opportunities for anyone who's interested. Uh, we meet every Thursday, which I guess is today at 6 p.m. in 104 West Village G, so if you stop by, it's a really laid back meeting. I promise it's very zany and weird. Uh, otherwise, you can reach out at officialgreenlinerecords.com, or officialgreenlinerecords at gmail.com, and I will respond. So thank you.